Hello, everyone. It's Dr. Savage on the set for my five minutes scope. My five minute scope with uh, good morning or good afternoon. <laughs> This is Dr. Evangel Savage over at Audacity Group Social Enterprise, and I teach individuals to identify, initiate, and implement strategies of distinction for investment readiness. Thank you. I just first want to thank a uh, shout out to Sarah Adderson for the red button challenge over at uh, Expand Your Heart. Absolutely a wonderful opportunity for many of the individuals to just get moving um, with Periscope, a platform that must be tapped into in order to be exercising your, um, your space, your visibility in all the spaces. Now my question, what, or my question for today, or task for today is, what if I had won the lottery and what would I do with that money? Well, as many of you know, I am I run a foundation as well, so I'm a philanthropist. And I started um this about 3 years ago, give angel investment giving away seed grants to um individuals who are starting or vying to start businesses just to get them moving as startup funds. And um as an angel investor, I like to be in the trenches with them, you know, supporting them on the ground, you know, to develop their their products, develop their their markets, you know, develop get the research going, just a lot of, you know, wonderful things to make sure that they are in a place where they can survive, you know, and it's particularly with those individuals who have demonstrated um, an interest in a market that um, that is suitable and necessary in our community. What would I do with the money if I were to win a lottery? Right immediately, my thoughts were, I would begin an endowment. Um, I believe that endowments are something that we don't tap enough into. Um... If you truly want to leave a legacy for your family, the greatest way to do that is to begin an endowment. By beginning endowments, you can have monies put away at a certain principal cap where once it gets to that cap, then you are permitted to, hey Lance, thank you for joining. Once it gets to that cap, you are able to spend the interest. So what would I do with my my money? I would certainly uh, begin an endowment. Um, and I like endowments that start at like 25000 I used to run a department and that's what I used to manage was grants and contracts. And hello, how are you? I didn't think I was going to make it today, Lance. I just woke up. I had a tooth pulled this morning. And, oh, my goodness, it took me until now to kind of get myself together. So, But you know me. I'm a challenger. So you challenge me to do something. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm doing okay. Got this lower one done, and it's, it's feeling good. But I, at first, I was like, oh, my God, I got all this pain. Anyway, what would I do with my my money if I want it I would set up another endowment and again endowments are places where you can save your money it's like a legacy building and as I said I'm a philanthropist so I would begin an, an endowment with the foundation where I would you know pour money into and save it until it got to maybe 25,000 you can start them as low as 10,000 and but the, the the more the principal that you have the greater the interest. So starting an endowment also is a place for your family. You can start one for your families. You can start one in memory of someone. You can start one in honor of someone. 
you can start one for a lot of different reasons. And for me, I would start it for um, giving away more money <laughs> because it's a way that you actually gain the, in you can use the interest to give away the, the scholarships versus your cash. So you have your cash flow and you have a certain amount of money that's going into the endowment every year or yeah every year or every cycle how often you want to set it for and I strongly suggest that you sit with someone who knows about endowments before you create such but they're very simple to do you have a few guidelines as to how you want the endowment to fulfill your mission so for me I would say you know that once the, the, the endowment got to a certain level that we would only spend the interest that comes from the endowment. Every year we could give X amount of dollars away because once you get to a certain level you can you can kind of gauge what your interest interest is going to be year after year and then maybe once you can even have it so that um, you don't spend all of the interest. Maybe you give away Say your interest was $750 a year, but you could give away $500, and you can maybe can give away two, two $250 scholarships. But that's a way to really, really, really raise capital um, interest. Interest. So it's interest. You're really living off the interest, and the principal is never spent. And it becomes a place, something that you just do every year, your money just grows more money. Just grow more money. And that's what it's all about. Just grow more money. And that was one of the things I told my father before my father passed away. He wanted to give money to my, give my son all of, you know, a lot of things. And I said, no, don't just give it to him. That's the problem with, the, with, a, with um, many of our families is we don't think about how it's being done by our counterparts. And our counterparts hold their children accountable for meeting certain standards. So they'll have endowments. And they'll have these, um, these, they have a bunch of things that are put in place for their children. And so the children cannot get access to it except they do A, B, and C is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm a little groggy. So... Same thing with an endowment. And I asked my father, I said, please don't know. We're not setting it up that way. If you really want to leave a legacy, then set have your monies going to a particular fund and let it, once it gets to a certain amount, then you can put it away so that you can give away a scholarship. And if he's doing the right things, if he's on the right trajectory to fulfilling the things that you want him to do, then um, he can have it. If he doesn't, then he's out. And I believe in holding people accountable. I'm not could have very well said, okay, dad, thanks. We'll take the money, you know, but that's not my thinking. My thinking is holding them accountable to achieve certain goals because we have to push. We have to push hard for our children. We have to push hard for our families to make them succeed because they can come become laxed in their ways. But if they know that there is there is a greater benefit for them, then they're more likely to say, you know what, I'm not blowing this. I'm not blowing my opportunities because these things are waiting for me. And all I have to do is this, 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 and this. So that's my take. That's how I would spend the money if I were to get, you know, to win the lottery is I would create more endowments. And the endowments will create more money. And that will give me more money to give away to people who want to own business. That's my thinking. That's what I do. That's what I would do with the money if I want it. And it will be consistent with my practices across all of my messages across uh, social media. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm going to jump off this camera because I only want five minutes. I know I've gone beyond, but I've had a tooth pull. So thank you for your support today. And... I hope you all are doing well. I'm proud of you guys for getting on the challenge, pressing the red button and doing your thing. For many of you who are newcomers, it becomes, it just becomes an act. It just becomes something that you do. 
and you do every day. You get better and better and better. Good luck to all of you. Have a great day. You're welcome.